Hey how's it going guys it is Josh back with another video in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can have the best possible flow for your Fortnite montages. Before I actually get into the tutorial on how you can have the best flow I just want to say that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet so if you want to show some support we're grinding super hard to 50k posting daily content. And also I just dropped one of the best Fortnite highlights editing packs for DaVinci Resolve and After Effects. It has presets, transitions, practice clips, ident templates, literally anything you could ever imagine possibly needing for Fortnite editing. So if you want to pick that up first link in the description will be to the pack it is definitely super worth it in my opinion and it is the best pack for davinci resolve out there and one of the best packs for after effects out there and i don't want to waste too much time so this isn't going to be a dual platform tutorial i'll be showing you how to have flow in both davinci resolve and after effects like comment subscribe if you guys do enjoy and find this video helpful and i'll see you guys in davinci resolve so the first thing you want to do is just make sure you are in a brand new project 1920 by 1080 60 fps from there we're literally just going to find a random clip so i'm just going to take this clip right here for example i know it's like a 200 pump we use it in our last tutorial that i made on monday and then also i'm gonna go on over here and picking a song to have good flow is definitely super important so i might honestly pick stone cold because it has a really good example of what i want to show you guys so for example right here i'm just going to drag in this song i'm going to turn my volume down just a tiny bit all right so once we actually have this song in here i'm just going to trim down this portion right here and i'm just going to show you the flow example kind of in with just this portion of the song so for this part right here we can see that it goes right here this is the main beat that we want our clip to hit and the most important thing about flow is you want to have the beats and the clips almost about the same length as each other because that is when you'll have the best flow kind of where it's one kill after another rapid pace depending on what the song is you just kind of got to feel the vibe if that makes sense so i'm going to drag this down to audio 2 i'm going to drag in one of these clips right here and what we're going to do is we're just going to find where we actually get the kill in the clip just right here should be just after right here just a little 200 pump but what i'm going to do is i'm going to line up the kill right here with our marker that we put on the beat and that's going to serve as kind of our guiding point for this so to actually add velocity the best way uh, you want to add velocity according to the song is if there's kind of like a drawn out part of the song where in this song it's like leave me alone and he like he he holds that that tone and that that note for a while you kind of want to slow down uh build up if that makes sense and this is a perfect example for my edit pack we have a ton of build ups in that pack that you want to buy so for example there's a ton of build ups in the pack if you want to pick that up and they're just presets they're just drag and drop you could easily add them but what we're going to do uh, we're just going to add velocity just like this. We're going to add the speed points and then we're going to change it to 50% since this is almost like a drawn out part of the song. Like I said, this is the velocity we're going to be adding, which is just the slow down velocity just like this. And then right about here, I'm just going to cut the clip just down here and we're going to work with actually our transitioning point afterwards so we can get the best flow possible. And we can see that it slows down right there and then we get our kill so like i was talking about you can notice it goes leave me alone and another massive tip i could give you guys and i want to let you guys know that this is probably one of the most important things when it comes to syncing and having good flow is please sync your transitioning points i can't stress that enough so for example if we get a kill right here the best place to sync our transition is always the hi-hat after the beat literally in any song if you go to any song on like a fortnite alex song there's always a hi-hat after the beat so for example we'll hear it right here beat and i don't know if you guys can hear i'll disable this audio and turn it up just a tiny bit we can see that there's a little clap almost not not a hi-hat but a clap so we're going to add a marker on that point and we're actually just going to cut down the clip just like this another tip i'm going to give to you guys about flow is always add beat shakes to uh your songs that have really hard beats in the middle before the kill after the kill whether it's you know it, it, does, it doesn't really matter just if there's hard beats you could always add beat shakes if you guys don't have any beat shakes i have beat shake presets in my uh, edit pack that i just dropped that i've already advertised enough but uh, yeah, there's not really much other than that. The only other example I could give you for velocity in terms of having nice flow, I'll quickly show you right here. Just unlink your clips, go into your retime curve, make sure you change this to retime speed. And what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, add a keyframe on the kill. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames back. Add a keyframe, drag this up to 300%. Go to right about here just like this and then just like this we're going to drag this down to 60 percent just like that 
and then we're just gonna ease these points off right here and that's that's good where there's not really a build up in the thing there's not a drawn out note like there was in the slowdown so i'll quickly show you what it looks like <laughs> And that's pretty much that i have another tutorial for velocity more in depth with different kinds of velocity coming soon later this week so make sure to check out that i know this was a very short tutorial cut just covering the basics on actually how to have good flow but it goes the extra mile in terms of having good flow in your fortnite montage it hooks the viewer almost and makes them stay for longer in the video which is always good you're never really wanting low viewer retention it's never never a good thing to have people only watching a small portion of your video you want to hook the viewer for as long as physically possible but if you guys did find that helpful make sure to drop a like comment subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and i'm going to be moving on to the after effects portion to show you guys how you can have good flow in that all right guys so i am in a brand new after effects project 1920 by 1080 60 fps as usual uh, what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be showing you guys how to have the best flow possible going over kind of some velocity transition tips that kind of stuff uh quickly before i get into it though if you guys want any of the velocity presets that will be featured in this make sure to check out my edit pack that i just released i'll have the link to that top of the description like i said before but pretty much what i'm going to be going over is just general tips on how to improve your uh just fortnite montage in total so uh we're just going to go right here we're actually just going to find the song as well i'm going to go to my montage music and we're going to use the song stone cold which is what the example it's it's the example of the song i used in the da vinci resolve tutorial just like this and we're gonna drag it in we're gonna bring up the light wavelengths pressing uh l twice all right so i found the main beat i want to use i just kind of navigated through it and we're just gonna click on the uh, song right here and press n on our keyboard to actually add the marker so we're just going to drag it over just like this and i'm going to put this uh playback head on the actual uh beat right here and doing that we're just going to quickly try to see if we can sync this up by lining up with the beat these uh, numbers above the head and the first tip I can give you guys about uh, editing and trying to have the best flow is you want to almost sync your transition points uh, as as much as you sync your kills. It's super important. It definitely improves the flow of your montage and having good flow in your montage is obviously super important and that is why you're watching this video. My number one tip for actually syncing your transitions is always sync to the hi-hat or the clap after the beat. So we'll see in this song right here. <laughs> You can hear the clap that's right here in the song, right after the beat. So we're going to add a marker right here, and we're going to shorten it down to actually this point right here. And now that we have it shortened down to the length we're going to actually use, we're going to add velocity. And like I said, this preset will be in my edit pack if you want to pick that up. It's just a preset velocity. You just drag it on just like this. And what it does is it'll just uh, take the clip from it, just a standard fast-paced, normal-paced uh, clip, and we're just going to... Uh, change this to 60 fps let's we'll see that this velocity literally just takes it from a normal speed clip to something like this super clean but all we got to do from there is you can add effects if you want i'm not going to add effects because this is more of a flow tutorial and i'm going to show you just by uh, going back into our media pool right here that a number like another tip i can show you guys if you go if we want our second kill to be here because there is a beat right here and our transitioning point right here let's say this is the portion that we want to use right something just like this and if we were to have something else after this beat i'll quickly show you this as well and we'll see that this third beat right here Right here this is also be our transitioning point we can see that the distance between these are almost identical and that is the best that's the best indicator that you are having good flow in your fortnite montage when the kills are even distance apart because when they're even distance apart the viewer will get to recognize when you're actually going to have a kill and they can predict when you're going to have a nice impact when you're going to have a nice transition that kind of stuff it just becomes a lot more predictable the viewers expecting it so they stay for longer which is definitely what you want to have in terms of flow on your montages and just to give you guys a quick example i'm just going to drag in a clip just like this and shorten it down you can see these two right here literally the exact same length in between there's a kill right here and then there's a kill right here they look the exact exact same another cool thing you can do for flow i'll quickly show you if you have twixter all you got to do is just go to the end of your clip go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back 
and we're going to add a speed point on that and then you can go to the very end just like this and you can change it to negative 100 and what this does is it adds a reverse velocity transition and i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it before all we got to do from there is just highlight these keyframes press f9 on your keyboard go into the graph editor and i'll quickly show you you just want to copy this graph right here so we're just going to drag that straight down just like that and we can see it kind of does a little reversal at the end and that's super good with zoom out transitions especially i'll show you what it looks like if we add a adjustment clip right here and we go to our transitions just over here and i have a ton of transition presets in my edit pack like i said i know i've, I've plugged it a lot in this tutorial but it had to be done look at this right here it looks super clean with the reverse velocity but yeah that's definitely just having even portions between the kills also makes the viewer be able to predict it a lot easier and it makes it almost a more immersive experience when they're able to predict when there's going to be kills when there's going to be beats in between kills transitions all that stuff but i know it was a short tutorial i'll have a couple more tutorials coming out over the next week or two if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe if you guys are new to the channel leave me a comment down below if you have something that you want to see in the tutorial on the channel in the future and make sure to pick up my edit pack like i said link will be at the very top of the description i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys later Peace out.